Hello everyone, this is Ross at Teacher Toolkit. This is idea number five in a series of 30 videos I'm sharing to support teachers through the summer term. Um, this one's about support or, or, or the additional adult in your classroom. Now, I know with funding cuts, um, it's probably uh, a rarer occurrence. Um, with increasing interventions and diagnosis, we are better at uh, uh, intervening with kids and, and supporting them. So there's a greater need to have an additional support, you know, with funding cuts, um, you know, increased class sizes. So that all aside, if you do have an additional adult in the classroom, my top tip is to direct them because the chances are you've had very little time to have a conversation beforehand. Um, particularly in a secondary school. If you're in a primary setting then you might see them much more um, frequently. Um, so if that's the case then you've probably got a chance to collaboratively plan. But ultimately what I'm advocating here is, you know, it's your class domain, you need to direct where you think support is needed. You might work with an experienced teaching assistant who's very confident and will work with more than just one child and that's a very, very good place to be. Um, but if you're not yet in that situation, um, or you might be lacking confidence, have a clear plan of where you want to direct support uh, with this additional adult. Um, you know, try to speak with them before and after the lesson. Um, share resources in advance, share some strategy, um, even if it's helping them to encourage other students to you know, something simple such as listen when the teacher's talking rather than translate and lead to more distractions. There's all sorts of different ways you can use that, but ultimately, um, it's about being more confident to direct a second adult in your classroom so that it has a greater impact. Um, there's more ideas on my blog, type in teaching assistant on teachertoolkit.co.uk and thanks for watching.